Have you reconsidered our offer to bug Mr. House's data network? It could be of enormous medical value to us and could alleviate a lot of suffering. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you they will be worth plenty of caps. Great! I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Okay, no rush, but the sooner the followers can learn about Mr. House's technology, the better. Where to, partner? Where to, partner? floor casino floor Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Good to hear. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get through eventually, just not today. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. Thanks again for helping us with that data. I mean, the feed only lasted about 30 seconds, and it's not that useful, but, well, we tried. We were connected for half a minute and received enough data to fill five holodisks. It looked like nonsense at first, but we decoded it. It was all biometric data, life signs from Mr. House. The technology he's using is so advanced that it samples data hundreds of times per second. It's fascinating, but depressing. Whatever technology he has can't possibly be practical for the people out here. About five years now, I have family back in Arroyo, but this is where all the good work is being done, so to speak. NCR taxes and inflation have been hard for a lot of people to deal with, and most of the money's going to the war effort. 
There's not much funding for medical research with OSI or any other group. Not unless it has a military application, anyway. I'm interested in medicine, but it's not my strong suit. I try to help out with any computer issues the followers have. That's why I was helping out with the research into Mr. House's technology. Trying to, anyway. After two tries, I think I've learned enough. I'm sure there's something more promising I could be helping the other followers with. Uh, oh yeah. I didn't tell you about the first time. I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. True. All right. The first try was a little less professional. Someone important on the Strip had access to some of House's technology. Specifically, a Securitron. And more specifically, the someone was Benny. I know, I know. He shot you in the head and everything. But this was a while ago. I knew he was sleazy, but I didn't realize he was so cold-blooded. He sure didn't. Benny was pretty tight-lipped and cryptic about the thing. But he did let me poke around in it for a while. I wound up helping Benny a lot more than he helped me. Once he had access to the Securitron's memory banks, he kicked me out of the tops. Big surprise, right? Should have seen that coming. The Securitron was disabled somehow. Might have been an EMP given some of the damage I saw. Anyway, he wanted it re-enabled and connected to Mr. House's data network. The trick was getting it to be invisible on the network. If Mr. House detects a rogue Securitron in his system, he remotely fries it. Getting around that security feature was a bit tricky. Yeah, strange as it sounds, I figured that badmouthing one of the Strip's most powerful people wasn't a good idea. The only reason why I'm telling you any of this is because he's gone now. What do you want to know? I already told you. I don't want to talk about it. Not much to tell. Benny had one of Mr. House's Securitrons deactivated and wanted it switched back on. He'd heard I was interested in Mr. House's technology, so he hit me up, so to speak. See you when I see you.